Hi, everybody. Lori here from My Favorite Things. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited to share a birthday project featuring several new products from the latest December release. I'm going to start with the colorful confetti background cling. This is a great background cling that stamps confetti. And what you can do if you want to get real spicy is you can rotate your cardstock and stamp it like four different times in four different colors if you want to do that. So I have a panel of white cardstock and the base of my Misty is already sticky from leftover tape runner. So my white panel kind of sticks in place. I'm going to ink up the colorful confetti background with flannel ink, which is a very light gray. And I'm going to stamp it once to give a nice, soft, light gray confetti. Then I'm going to rotate my panel. I'm not measuring or being exact or anything like that. I just want to stamp the confetti twice using two different colors. Now I'm using sea foam, which is a very light aqua color. So I'm going to stamp those and kind of layer the two different shades of confetti for a two-toned. If you wanted to go the extra mile, you could stamp it two more times, rotating the panel with four different colors. So I'm going to stop right here because that's enough for me. I like it. It's like creating your own pattern paper. And I like to use subtle backgrounds so they don't compete. Okay, so now we're moving on to the numbers. We have two new Dynamics die sets, the solid numbers and the outline numbers dynamic. So one's a solid, one's an outline. I'm doing the solid in white, the outline in aqua. Take those off camera, run it through my die cutting machine, and I'll show you here. Now there's a lot of different things you can do with the outline. Uh, you could just layer it. You could use the inner the outer, the positive, the negative. I'm going to do something fun and create a shaker. Um, I got a very special birthday coming up in two days. My oldest daughter, Alex, is turning 22. Do you know the old Taylor Swift song? Hey, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. Well, she's 22. Can you believe it? So what I did was I'm going to make a shaker. I die cut two out of the aqua outline, three extra out of white, two solids with acetate and I'm going to stack these all up to create two individual shaker numbers. So I'm just using a little bit of liquid glue. I've got my Barely Arts here. I really like it because it's got that precision needle tip for just a little dab of glue. It is kind of intricate. You could also use spray adhesive. So I stack the three white. Then what I do is glue on the solid acetate on top of the three stacked up white. Then I top it off with that outline aqua. So this gives you a little thickness for a bit of a shaker filler. I like to put an acrylic block on the top and let it, you know, marinate. Okay, I did the second one. Now you have your two shaker lids ready to go. Now for filler, I wanted something very dainty. So I, I pulled out this little mini iridescent star confetti. It's by Pretty Pink Posh. You just want something kind of small. Now watch, I, I was trying to be real neat and tidy, but I accidentally dumped the whole thing all over. Now, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. This was a mess. Okay, but it doesn't have to be a mess if you don't, if you don't spill the sequins or filler all over the place. But you just need a little bit, not too much filler. Then you glue that solid on the back and you see how this comes together for a little two shaker. I'm gonna go ahead and do that second one. I love how this turned out. I think it's fun, interactive, uh, unique, a little unpredictable. It's a lot of work, but I think it's worth it. You certainly don't have to only use these dies to create shakers. There's a lot of other simpler things you can do, but this was just a fun idea. I wanted to make it special for Alex. Okay, I'm gonna zhuzh up the numbers with some florals. We've got the new Fundamental Florals Dynamics, and then there's also the Complementary Greenery Dynamics, which I'll show you in a second. These are kind of unique in that they have little groupings. So sometimes you don't know what floral goes with what innard and all that, and, and they, they're all one. So they're little groupings of floral dyes. You're never gonna get, not that you can't mix and match, because you certainly can, but if you're wondering what part goes with what, well, it's all connected. And I went rummaging through my solid color cardstock scraps, picked out a few colors that gave it a little pop because the background, the confetti is kind of subtle. 
The 22 is subtle even though it's a shaker, so we needed some pop for some papau for the birthday. So I just chose some pinks and warm tones, stacking up these uh, blooms. I don't know the names. I got a couple leaves there from the complimentary greenery dynamics. And if you check out the My Favorite Things website and just check out what the design team has created, showcasing these new products, unbelievable. Really, inspirational. Okay, so, um, putting these flowers together. Alex is 20, turning 22. I can't believe it. Um, and then I've got Bailey coming around the corner, turning 19. And I've got Charlie going to be turning 17. Can you believe it? So December is a blowout with three birthdays and the holidays and the cooking and the presents and all that. You know, mama gets real tired, but it's all good tired, right? So I'm stacking this up. Now, you know how I say dimension is life. I've noticed lately, sometimes my dimension gets a little out of hand, but I did know that I was going to be handing this or putting it with Alex's gift. So it's not, I knew in my mind, this isn't something I'm going to have to mail because this would just get a little bit outrageous. It's getting pretty thick. But when you know you're going to hand it to the person, you could stack it up to the high heavens. You can just let your dimension, love, and heart run wild. And that's what I'm doing today. I really like that. Even like my leaves, they're going to hang way off the side. Normally, I try not to do that if, if I'm going to fit it in an envelope for mailing. But you know, in this case, hang it off the side, stack it up, live your life. And you got to just pull out all the stops for a 22, 22nd birthday. I'm thinking now that she's getting so much older, you know, I used to always decorate with tons of balloons and streamers. And I just, I'm not quite sure what to do as they get older and older and older. Now I'm going to emboss a coordinating little sub sentiment, Happy You Day, which is from an older set. It's called Little Birthday Notes, but I always keep it handy because it's just a classic whenever you're making a birthday project. So I'm going to emboss this in white on a little strip of teal. So back to the birthday, like what do you do as they get older? Do you still like fill the whole room with balloons? Like maybe that's too much now. I don't know. I'm trying to simplify. I don't want to make it too kiddish, but I also don't want to seem like I don't care anymore. You know what I mean? You just don't know what to do as they get older, you know? Caught between a rock and a hard place. That's where mama lives. Okay, so I trimmed out that embossed sentiment and popped it up underneath the 22. And there you have a fun, customizable shaker birthday card. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure and check out the rest of the My Favorite Things December release. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.